Hey guys, Roshan was playing with his younger brother using a rubber duck. Every time they pushed it in the water, it came back up. And yet, a part of it was still inside the water. Seeing this, he took a coin from his pocket and dropped it in the water. Oh, the coin sank completely in the water and did not come up. Roshan was curious to understand what was happening. He dropped a paperweight in the water. This paperweight floated at the brim of the water. Are you wondering why these objects show different behavior in the water? Let's understand this. We know that whenever a body is partially or fully immersed in the water, it displaces water of weight equal to the upthrust acting on the object. This weight of displaced water plays a role in determining whether the object will float or sink in the water. In the first case, since the duck is pushed in the water, it displaces more liquid. In this case, the weight of the water displaced by the rubber duck is more than the actual weight of the rubber duck. Hence, the duck is pushed upwards. And hence, the lesser part of the duck is submerged. The coin was heavier than the weight of the water displaced by it. So, it sank inside the water. What about the paperweight? The weight of the water displaced by the paperweight is equal to the weight of it. Hence, the body floats just below the surface of the water. So the next time you see some object sinking or floating, you know the logic behind it and you can thank Mr. Archimedes for it.